Probably know him as T Pain. <laughs> What's going on, brother? How you Chilling, doing? Chilling, man. What's good? Still What's looking good? like a trillion bucks. I'll try. You look I'll like try. the deficit. <laughs> how, how much does that t-shirt cost because i'm thinking okay it's a regular t-shirt but then when you look it's it's not how much well i wasn't gonna wear it because right. you know we thought we, we thought it had some satanic symbols on it so, all but, right you know, i figured i would wear it to, you know build up some controversy maybe i'd get a little more famous I right. know. <laughs> hey illuminati i don't know how that works are you in <laughs> illuminati yet I, boy if somebody got an email boy they hit me with it yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it costs like a uh, half a billion to get in that. I, huh? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it would cost money to go make money. That, that, I heard that. that. I, I don't know exactly what it is, man. Mm. Somebody accused me of being in it, and I was like, man, they I say did. Oprah and Jay Z, everybody if, in it. If, if, if those are the caliber of people yeah. in there, we need to be. Yeah, in. I be in the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> You gonna get an Illuminati? No. Nope. <laughs> Whoa! That was an initiation right there. That's the. That's the. <laughs> we just. Uh, we just do doing. We we it'd be a strategic thing. I mean, if I was running the motherfucking Illuminati, I would want it to be a strategic thing. I don't know, man. I just. I feel like you would join up. I sure. would. I, I would. I just feel like. But I don't feel like if you told them no, then everything gonna stop now. I don't this, know. This is a scam like the episode. I know. This shit got fucked up at the, at the end. I'm just saying, bro, you, I, I feel like you joined. Why? <laughs> so, Lowe's is in the Illuminati, everybody. So, uh, things are going to change right here. Uh, what is the that? whole crew is white now. Uh, <laughs> just want everybody to know, just I don't know start man. planning for the future. I want to tell you this. You see, playing what you don't know is Joe. He know how to edit shit so good. This shit gonna be going. Oh, absolutely. But what if they told him to do it and they gonna watch the whole episode? So where's 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 the, where's the pain? They gonna see pain. Where's our stuff? <laughs> it's gonna be two dudes in suits that show up next Thursday. Stop playing T Pain because shit like that are really fucking happy. It's gonna be two dudes that show up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the editor right there in case they looking for me. It ain't me, man. I, I showed up. I did the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you play too fucking much. No way. You're supposed to, you're supposed to believe in God. You're supposed to do everything you do to, to, to make sure you, you worship I... worship God and worship Jesus. You know who do that the most? Poor people. No, I heard that somewhere. You've never heard anybody <laughs> pray more. You never heard anybody wish God, wish, wish to God and pray to God and do anything more than people that don't want to fucking do anything. <laughs> the people that pray to God the most is the laziest motherfuckers. Because God is telling them, hey, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. All I want you to do is just leave the house. Just leave the house. Maybe, you know, that thing your friend called you about and it was like, bro, this might be a good opportunity. And he was like, no, nah, I'm gonna pray on it. I fuck with that. I fuck with you having the faith, but I needed you to go to that thing. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> God is like, oh my God, this nigga. Come on, bro, just leave the house! Yeah. Until that, please. God, what else can I put in place to get this motherfucker out the house? 
all the people they say worship the devil uh, win awards and then uh, the first person they think is God. <laughs> first of all, I want to thank God. No, he's no, he worships the devil. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy to me? The most crazy thing? Um, only black people are in the Illuminati. How the fuck does that? How does that work? Only black people are in the Illuminati. Okay. As, a, as opposed to the literally open devil worshipers. Now, we talking about black metal. We talking about fucking... Uh, Oh, Land Party Studio, thank you for another five. I appreciate it. Bro, when I'm talking about, when I'm talking, to, like, I'm talking about people that literally openly worship the devil. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, the Church of Satan, because that's a completely different thing. The Church of Satan is even, is even further from the devil. When I tell you that there are people that openly worship the devil, that don't get put in the Illuminati. Music, like, like bands, like full-on metal bands that fucking openly worship the devil. Don't get put into the Illuminati. But if a nigga is making too much money, yeah, that nigga, that, yeah. Nah, that's the devil. That's the devil doing that. Nah, I know what you did. You sold your soul to the devil. You're making too much money. Because if you can do it, how come I don't have that much money? That's how much faith we got in each other. That's how much faith we got in each other. Because niggas would be like, nah, bro, ain't no way. That nigga rhymed words and got money? What? How come I'm not? Oh, because, oh, because I believe in God. He's worshiping the devil, right? That's why. He's worshiping the devil. I can rhyme words too. He's a, no, he's a rapper. He's a rapper. He just rhymes words. That's all they do. That's why. That's why niggas really think that we have no value. And we would not make it. We would not make any money unless we give our souls to the devil. Nobody thinks that we're actually doing good business deals. Nobody thinks that we're actually coming in contact with people that want to do business with us. We're not getting rich off of anything but the devil. There's no way because if I can, because if T-Pain can get rich off of that bullshit that he was doing, anybody can do auto tune. I can do it. Why? How come I ain't rich? I'll tell you why. Because I praise the Lord. <laughs> T-Pain is famous because he praises the devil. <laughs> i tell you what. If this is how you get rich and famous and, and it works out, fucking come on over, bro. Because <laughs> i tell you what. If I'm sitting on my ass and just praying on it, I ain't waiting. I'm not, I, I can't wait on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait on it. I'm not gonna wait on it. I'll tell you what, I, 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 I'm just, no, trust me, bro. God got me, bro. God got me, bro. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait on God. You ain't gonna do nothing? You ain't gonna do shit? You just gonna wait on you can't start this whole fucking global concept that the only reason that black people are successful is if they fucking tell the devil that you can do whatever you want to with my soul. But anybody, but any, 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 any country artist, any pop artist, they're just successful because they're successful. And that's just the kind of music that's successful. But any black music that's successful, oh, you, you saw, nah. That's not something. Something's weird about that. That's not right. Something. That's. Mm -mm. I don't fuck with that. That's the devil. I know that's the devil. And did Billie Eilish sell her soul to Satan? Is it true that Billie Eilish sold her soul to Satan? So Billie Eilish is so freaking talented, first of all. She just took home the award for Best New Artist at the AMAs, and she took home another AMA for Favorite Alternative Rock Artist. But there's no denying that Billie Eilish is one of the top artists in the world right now. She's only 17 years old, soon to be 18, but she has received critical acclaim, and she was just nominated for six Grammys, and she was just announced as Billboard's Woman of the Year, making her the youngest ever. However, 
there's one rumor about her that will not go away. In fact, it's growing stronger. And that rumor is that Billie Eilish sold her soul to Satan. Now, if you listen to her music, specifically her lyrics, we can understand why people would think this. Also, her music videos don't necessarily help the cause. I did a Google search for Billie Eilish Satan, and there are multiple articles breaking down why she is or isn't pledged to Satan. But of course, I had to go to Twitter to see what people are saying about it. This person tweeted, y'all know how obsessed I am with Billie Eilish. Well, my little sister loves her too. My mom is a diehard Christian, so she's like, she's Satan. So I got me and Rissa matching Billie shirts for Christmas and it's getting delivered to her house. <laughs> Someone else tweeted, Billie Eilish stole her soul. Don't even come at me because we all know it's true. She went from ocean eyes to all good girls go to hell. Like what the f I will never understand. And someone else said, I'm gonna be honest, I love Billie Eilish, but she 1000% sold her soul to the devil. Now, Billie even said back in 2016 on her Facebook that she is Satan. She posted this photo saying, why does anyone ever trust me, laugh out loud? I'm Satan. <laughs>
and out of the closet. Get it's rapper. owned. The, the hip hop community is most likely owned by gay. To be honest but with you, you think they'll be an they're owned out of the by closet. gay. They're, I happen to think there's a gay mafia in hip hop. Right. Not rappers. You know right. the editorial presidents of magazines. Sure. The 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 PDs at radio stations, the, the the people who give you award at award shows, the this this is a fucking gay mafia, my man. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? They are in power. So why wouldn't a guy come out and say, "Yo, I'm gay," and get that type of love? I mean, Lady Gaga, I don't know if she's gay, but she running with that gay shit for real, and she is winning. Little Rap little music, nah, it ain't no li little different. Little different Everybody got somebody gay in their house, in their family. I'm not saying in their same house, but in their family, somebody got somebody gay. So I don't. I, I think it's 2011 going on 2012. I think if you're I, I gay, you're represented. I remember interviewing back in the day, and I asked him if he, if he would ever do a, a song with a, a gay rapper. Uh -huh. And he said that he's pretty sure he's done one already. <laughs> That's I asked Fat Joe the question. Ooh, that's you know, funny. That's a funny. lot of rappers I ask, did they think about it for a second? They're like, I'm pretty sure I've done a song with a gay rapper. Yeah, man, I, I, I'm in the industry. I've been hearing stories since 1997. I don't talk about that shit. My personal opinion is, if you talk about it too much, something bad will happen to you. Because there's something, there's something in the air, man. We, it's like a, I'm a conspiracy theorist, so. We well, you know, Fat Joe said that there's a gay mafia. I was just gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it because I'm a conspiracy theorist. But, <laughs> you know, you talk about it, something's gonna happen to you. Yeah? So you think there's a game out here? I think if you talk about it. <laughs> I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. It'd be like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, God, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country, you know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country, you know, Who's and uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. You know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe Arpaio? You know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil, you know? And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's through all these hardships that I realized that, you know what? This is God's country because I met the devil here. Because if I hadn't met the devil here, I wouldn't realize I was strong enough to overcome the obstacles that the devil would place in my path. And it's by overcoming these obstacles that I realized that this is God's country. Because he helped me get over these obstacles. He helped me get over these hurdles. Okay, so, but when you're done here, when yeah. you're out of here. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking back. You're not coming back? No, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back for a show. I'm not coming back for a visit. I, I'm not even driving through the states. If I'm in a plane and they're going to fly over, I'm going to go around, okay? But you love this place. Ah, I love the scenery. I love the scenery about it. And I love the freedom that it initially gave a person. Remember I said, when I first came here, um, the, the last exit on the 101 was, was uh, Pima and Princess. Yeah, that was the last exit, you know? And, um, you know, uh, man, we, we, we had fun. We had the four-wheelers, you know, we just rode the trails, pretty much the same thing I did when I bought a house out here, but until, you know, things, I don't know. Do you, um, when you think back on this whole thing, yeah. what, what went wrong in Arizona? What, how did, how did you end up getting in so much trouble here? Was there too much temptation here? Or were, were, I, I actually didn't get in, after you? no, I didn't get in, I actually didn't get in any trouble. I was never arrested at the scene of any crime, I, or you know, the police came and arrested me for something. You know, it was always uh, let's get an arrest warrant for this guy. You know. You think Arpaio was after you? I'll let the uh, public answer that one. You know, I, I'm I'm not going to sit here and say because I don't know. It might look like it, but I, I don't know if that was the case. So I'm not going to say that that's what it was. You know, but um, we're all God's children, and um. I do pray for that man, you know, as I pray for everyone else, you know, whether I know you or not, I pray for my friends, family, loved ones, and as well as my enemies every night, you know, because we're all God's children. We're all God's children, and we all deserve the same grace. In any way, has this time in here a lot of time to think? Has yes. Has that changed X? Yes, it has. It has. It has. It has gotten me closer to my uh, true calling on life, closer to... Um, to realizing, to actualizing my true calling on life, which is to be a pastor. You know, so I'm like, uh, you know, I'm in my Bible every day. You know, they got me on 23-hour lock-in. Why, I don't know. Is that for your own protection? 
that's what they say, but it's really just to be a pain in the ass. You know, I mean, I, they just put me in general population a week ago. I, I didn't get in so much as a write-up. You know, I haven't had one disciplinary report since I've been here. Yet, they moved me back. So what are you going to do, X, when you're out of here finally? What's, I'm, what's I'm, a game plan? Uh, well, I'm going to start a TV show while I'm in here, Pain and Perseverance. You know, and it's about how I can reach people that the average person can't reach because I'm grounded. I'm still as grounded as I am. And um, uh, I'm going to give my first sermon in the church. That's going to be, like, incredible for me, and I hope it will be incredible for the congregation of that church. You know, I hope I'm able to reach somebody or just touch somebody, you know what I'm saying, and bring them closer to the Lord. Are you going to still make music? Yes, yes. I actually have completed the gospel album. Yeah. You know, on every one of my albums, there's been um, a gospel song and a prayer. And, um, you know, of course, with the image, they, they never, uh, you know, made those songs into singles except my sixth album, which is Lord, and they, they did Lord Give Me a Sign as a single. And um, Are you going to, do you turn your back? on what you wrote earlier in your career? No, I do not. No, because I um, do, do you have kids? Yes, I have eight kids. How, how old are they? The oldest one is 16, the youngest one is three months. How do you feel about them listening to some of the things you've written? I encourage them to listen, but I also encourage them to not, they, they know what not to say. You know, you can't hide something from a child because that, that, that only uh, gets them more curious about it. You know, what you do is you say, all right, this is what it is, and this ain't for you. You know? Do you think it's a negative message? No, it's a real message. And real is sometimes negative as well as positive. But it's, it's real. True. And it needs to be. True. It needs to be, yes. It needs to be real. You can't hide. You can't hide things because they're going to find out. And when they find out, like, oh, this must be good because my, you know, my, my, my father hid it from me all this time. He must have wanted it for himself. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is. And I tell you, you touch it, I'll break your arm. You know? Or if you get curious, come talk to me about it because I've already been through it. I haven't been through what I've been through for nothing. You know? I've been through what I've been through to stop you from going through it, to be able to tell you about it. So that way you won't have to experiment to know what it's about. You know? So you're saying your music, in a sense, some of it's a warning. Yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> tell me, I think people are curious, how a guy, you've sold how many records? 28 million. And made millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. How do you end up in here? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think everyone who's watching knows how I ended up in here. I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Anytime you get it. I'm pretty sure they do. You know, there's, there's, how do I end up in here? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to look at it in a positive light and say that um, I came here to meet somebody. Don't know who it was, but I'll know him when I see him. And I came here to give him a message. And that message is Jesus loves him. You know what I'm saying? I came here to give him the word. That's why I'm here. Regardless of what it looks like, you know, regardless of what people think, that's why I'm here. I came here to meet somebody and tell them about the glory of God. Tell me if I'm wrong. In, yeah. in the rap world, if, yeah. if you do time in jail yeah. or prison or you've yeah. been shot, mm -hmm. that's a badge of courage, right? That gives you street cred. Uh, I, not really. I mean, I guess in any world, you know, it... it, it as people like, ooh, you made it. You know, that's like surviving something that a lot of people didn't survive. So I guess in that aspect, but that's not so much the rap world, it's in any world, you know? So does this does this time in, in jail here, does it help your standing no, with it your fans? No, no, it's actually, man, it's, it's, it's wasting time. You know, it's, it's wasting time. I, there's so many things I could be doing. But then again, I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. This little bit of time, and hey, it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long. It'll be over soon, and before you know it, I'll be back doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, the gospel according to Acts. You know, music, movies, um, speaking to people. You know, have you talked to guys in here who don't have the opportunities that you've had and will have when you get out? There are guys in here who really 
don't have a lot going on. I mean, they, they've got a tough, tough road mm -hmm. ahead when they get out of here. They're not going to have movies soon. They're not going to have TV shows. Mm -hmm. They're not going to sell records. Mm -hmm. Have I talked to them about what? Have you tried to help them? Um, I give positive advice. I, I, you know, I, I try to get them to look into themselves to see what they're good at because we're all, we all have a talent. So I try to get them to look at themselves and I try to explain to them, you don't have to do that because there's no such thing as an old drug dealer. You know, there, there's no old players, you know, there's no old gangsters. You know, so I give them something to think about. You know, there's, 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 there's so many other things that you could do. But, you know, people do what they want to do and I'm not their father, so I just tell them, you know, the best thing I can tell them at that particular time and hope they get into it, you know, but I always tell them that Jesus loves them. Lord, give me a sign. I, I pulled some of those lyrics out. Uh, tell me what these lyrics are and it's what they mean. It's, it's a conversation with the Lord. I really need to talk to you, Lord. It's the last time we talked, the walk has been hard. Now, I know you haven't left me, but I feel like I'm alone. I'm a big boy now, but I'm still not grown. I'm still going through it, pain and the hurt, soaking up trouble like rain in the dirt. And I know only I can stop the neck of pain with just a mention of my Savior's name. In the name of Jesus, devil, I rebuke you for what I go through. We're trying to make me do what I used to, but all that stops right here. As long as the Lord's in my life, I will have no fear. I will know no pain from the light to the dark. I will know no shame. Spit it right from the heart, because it's right from the start that you held me down. And ain't nothing they can tell me now. Lord, give me a sign. <laughs> You've had, uh, you've had a song on every album, A Conversation with God. Yes. You've had... And a prayer. Uh, and a prayer. And I think you've had... Three think, conversations with the devil. Three conversations yes. with the devil. Why with the devil? Well, to make a fair decision, I think you have to be aware of both sides. And I was approached, so of course I had a conversation. It, didn't mean I, it doesn't mean I rode with him sure. or believed him. I just was able to recognize him by what he said to me and what he offered me. He said, oh, now I know you are. That's why I stopped talking to him. I put out seven albums, but he's only on three. Who ready to back that Man. ass up? Who gonna come back, back the back the back, back that ass up? What's up? Where the hot girls at? Where the little project at? I'm looking for, come on. Come your ass up here. When we work What's up? You wanna come, come on, yeah, come on. You too? When we working with, Come on, it's cool. Ain't no thing. You look real stupid. I need a project, bitch. <laughs> A hood red bitch, yeah, one that don't give a fuck and say she took that bitch. Motherfucker throwing clothes on, on that shit. Yeah, 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 Mr. Security. Look, uh, I'ma show you what type nigga I am, right? These niggas right here been bucking with me all night. Let I them want y'all to come here. up here and fuck with me. Come Ain't on, no let niggas, them niggas up here. Y'all three, y'all four, right? Yeah, all y'all come up here and fuck with a nigga. It's cool like that. You heard me? What's Look, up? Trevor, What's up? What's wrong with her? Come on, come up here. You gonna shake it? Look, come on, get out right here. Okay, 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 get out right there. It's cool. I can take two of y'all. Get out right there. You and you, come on, y'all, come up here. Y'all bullshit. Get them up here. They've been bucking with a nigga all night. I fuck with niggas too. You go to prison. The most important thing in your life is going to be booty. Y'all better listen to a man's butt. Booty, getting some booty is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you. He like you. And I want you. And he want you. 
Now we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. What you want, Tom? What's it gonna be? I ask you a question, Tom. I can't hear you, Tom. <laughs> What's up? Don't fuck with me. <laughs> We need a couple of more, man. Say, All right, I'm going to pay you $20 to beat this bitch up right there. there. We need a couple Get of more. Right there. <laughs> I need somebody to take back to the hotel. Don't well, fuck with me. I'll make the whole crowd look right your right ass. There. Who won't make some money? Which one of these women won't make some money? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's it. I need one more. Him too. Yeah, him I want y'all to beat this whole up Him too. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And my dude right there, dog. Say, ducky. And do right there with the with the blue hat on. Wait, man, we need some more chicks up here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> See the grill, then you gotta show you got they wanna see the yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't tripping. I put all this really? in my mouth yeah, for a reason. Up in there. I got a hundred plus, I got fifteen carrots, you understand? Ooh, you wanna see them, they big and they swole. So when you when you kiss <laughs> I gotta ask I ladies, no I got y'all up here. So when you kiss a girl, right? Hey, they I'm the only person he kiss. <laughs> uh, I, I, I got y'all up here. So I'm, when you kiss a girl, right? Hey, they I'm the only person he kiss. Uh, yeah, that's we how I roll. Yeah, that's that's nobody roll. else, man. Okay, now. Uh, Ain't no freaks. Okay, we just roll like that. That's Can't my son. It. I raised him, you heard? I'm going to leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> Manny. Yes, what's darling. up, Manny? What's up? Everybody wants to know what you mean when you call your homies your baby or your hubby, mm -hmm. your lover. Can you just set the record straight? It's a language. It's nothing stupid and fruity going on. It's the way we talk, it's the way we live. Those are my babes, no my lovers, no my hubbies, whatever you want to call it. Is it strategic at all, you know, to get people talking about you? Because you are somewhat of a new artist. So is it strategic to be controversial? However, I don't know. I don't know a yes or no to that. That's a hard question. Okay. Now, you're definitely running shit right now. Your music is some of the hottest out. Who are some of the people that you you work with that we might not know about yet? What collaborations do we have? Gotti, Wayne, Boosie, mm, Bird. You will definitely be upset. You will definitely be upset. You will be outstanding, motherfucker. No, I'm You Working out though, just start like getting in the gym, though, nigga. You know, so I ain't gotta work out, nigga. You, but you know, so my thumbs are so strong with Kevin and all that paper. But y'all hold on, tell you. Let's stop. We gotta do the first thing. Do our work. Do our work. Do our work. If you ain't have enough style to give me a pair of Reeboks, I'll ask you for a pair of Reeboks today. You ain't got no clutch. That's fresh. She ain't even hooked me up. You'll have one. Thank you. Box up. Hey, yo, check this out. This is Diddy. That boy ain't called Diddy. I'm here in the biggest, this is not even, this is just the play around mansion. Believe that. This boy yeah. is really for real. He's number one son. I gave for he gave for he yeah, I got to pass it to him. You know what I'm saying? I was the number one son. I'm a I'm a I'm like a superior son now. You know, I'm gonna graduate to my master's degree. So and, and you and he's the number one, he's the one that's you know how you have I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? He like Clinton. I was the president for shit. Yeah, man, that's yeah. OG. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we in my we we, we, we in with all one, and then we in his mansion. It's one of many. He own the whole motherfucking block. God damn. But yo, tell us our cash money bad boy. We won't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see y'all at the club. Yeah, big time is doing big things up in here. Hood rich style, art record on the ones and twos. Trap City, the basement. Now the album. Oh, it's the hood basement. Oh, oh yeah. So it's the hood basement. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about some of these people on here. Who's, who's on the album? I mean, me, Manny, Fresh, 
<laughs> yeah, Byron, uh, Manny Fresh, Fresh Love Man, Huggy, <laughs> all his nicknames. Right, Blackstone, nah, Mickey. Trick Daddy on one of them. Right. Dick. That's our dog for life, you know what I'm saying? So Trick got down with us. Right. You know, and our family, Mickey, mm -hmm. Wayne, you know, and the Cash Money family, the way we all, you know, the way we always roll. Got the face. Oh, yeah, and Jazzy. Oh, Jay Fizzle for yeah. Rizzle. Jay Fizzle. Jay Fizzle. Okay. Uh, I got my son right here. Okay. Special delivery, too. He was special yeah, delivery. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Big Lack. How you doing, Wayne? Big Sound. What's up? Everything good? My bad. Look, got the whole family here. Yeah. <laughs> Now, wait, wait, tell me about the wipe it down. What, 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 can I, get I mean, we just fly, dog, so we feel like, you know, it's big pepper, big things, so we wipe each other down. Instead of giving that, we just you keep wipe it fly, down, you know what I'm saying? saying? Wipe them down. That's how we feel. That's the new phrase. The new phrase. You gotta wipe them down. Wipe them down. You're we fly like Wayne that. Wayne out next. Yep. Oh, yeah. So. How you been, man? I'm done. 500 degrees. That's the name of that. 500 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. A hundred above the folk. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it down. Hey, man, y'all don't go nowhere. We are coming back and going in the booth in a couple minutes. We got the whole yep. cash money click up in here doing it hood rich style. Like album and store. You like, like which one? That one? Which one you like, man? Pick one. Both All right. <laughs> <laughs> on my motherfucking rich gang and shit. And you niggas keep trying to test me. Y'all keep trying to test me. Keep trying to see if I'm under the five and shit. But anyway, yeah, I was on media takeout on World Star and shit. And yeah, Birdman fucked me. He fucked me in the ass for the deal. I'm gonna be real. Birdman fucked me for the deal. So I got these niggas in my mention saying this gay to suck dick. What would they check me out like that right here? You hear me? Nigga, they ain't gay to suck dick. But check this out, Wood. It ain't never been gay to suck dick, you hear me? It ain't never been gay to have another nigga put his dick in your booty, you hear me? That ain't homosexual. My nigga's only homosexual if you think it's gay, you hear me? Check this out on the side, though, Woody. Y'all niggas think it's gay? Shit, I might as well just flatline one of y'all niggas, you hear me? Straight like that. You hear me? Cause it ain't gay to suck dick. Y'all niggas that's making it gay, you hear me? Woody, check it out like this right here. See, a nigga like me, you hear me? A nigga like me, you know, I suck dick about good, like, five times a day, you know, it's a good mouth exercise, so, you know, when I'm in the booth, you know what I'm talking about, I get good fluctuation in my mouth, you hear me, I get that saliva dripping and shit in my mouth, you hear me, so, whoa, they, it ain't gay, you know, that, that dick in your booty, you know, loosen up your thighs a little bit, so that when you run from police and troll, my nigga, your thighs all loose and shit, my nigga, you run from troll, whoa, they, whoa, they, them troll hollering at you, yeah, whoa, they, them troll dumping on you, yeah, whoa, they, your booty all loose, whoa, they, you hear me, I don't know why I'm saying Woody, though. I'm from the south side. Y'all niggas from the east side with that homophobic shit, you hear me? But check this out right here. 92 boy. You know what I'm talking about? So go ahead and suck that dick. It ain't gay, my nigga. Suck a dick ain't gay, my nigga. It's only gay if you make gay, my nigga. So I'm not sure straight like that. Um, I guess the last thing that, you know, people, Trick Daddy was throwing shots, saying, you know, Birdman doesn't know if he's a blood or a crip or... This, you know, this gay thing and that gay thing. What's, what, what, what do you mean? I don't understand. He was saying that you was gay. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm a straight gangster, man. That nigga been in my hood. He know what's happening with me. Yeah. You hear me? Nigga know what's happening with me, man. Yeah. I guess nigga get on the radio and won't be funny or something. But right, right, right. Nigga know what's happening with me, man. Google me, man. Call anything in the 504 and ask about me. Google me, man. Watch what come up. Yeah. Straight G. And you come from a long line of pimps and gangsters, too. Oh, man, straight G, man, straight gangster. I don't know how to be nothing but that. I'm just a hustler. I'm a mastermind. I know how to use my brain and organize a lot of shit and make a mm. lot of money and sell a lot of records. That's one of my gifts. Right. Everything I touch is going to be something. So look, I guess that brings up the biopic. Next is the next business endeavor that we've heard. I mean, you have your music, and we're going to get to that. And you done dropped a couple of records. You dropped Fuck em, which is obviously a shot at everybody who got something to say. I'm just sick of these pussy niggas playing with my name, man. Put some respect on my motherfucking name, man. Or don't put it in your mouth, man. And I mean that, man. I'm tired of talking. Ain't no more talking, man. They gonna find a way to respect me. So you got a nigga might have an opinion. Say their opinion and you ain't gonna hear that shit. You understand? Even with Ross and the trick, they had their opinion. They said that shit one time. You ain't gonna keep hearing that shit. 
But this nigga on the radio station, he been playing with me for like three, four years. Constantly playing with my name, man. Find you somebody to play with, man. That's all I'm saying. And I ain't trying to discredit that, man. You understand me? A black man making money feeding his family. I ain't trying to get price off him or nothing. He ain't, he a radio nigga. He ain't, in, he ain't about that. And I get that. And I ain't come about that. I'm just asking you as a man, man. I don't know if you think I'm sweet or something or got me fucked up. Just keep my name out your mouth with the bullshit, man. And I ain't trying to be, this dude ain't, I can't get no price off this man. I ain't trying to get no price off this man. But all I'm asking you, I don't even know this man, honestly. I never met him in my life. That was my first time meeting him, ever seeing him in my two eyes. You understand me? Hey, man, put some respect on my... This happened to us. Stuff like this happens to us all the time, Granddad. We're done for. Why gays? Why couldn't it have been Mexicans or Indians from India? Everyone makes fun of them. Now, Granddad, before you go crazy, let me explain. Yes, please explain yourself, grandson. The video was deceivingly edited. This is all just some crazy misunderstanding, right? But it really was gay. Oh, no. That's your explanation? Do you know what you've done to us? We're doomed. We'll be blacklisted in Hollywood. Now, I'll never host the Oscars. But it was gay. Why should I have to apologize? I saw gay, so I said gay. That ain't bullying. That's an astute observation. Did the laws of the universe change and nobody told me niggas gotta apologize for being right? I'm gonna get my belt and change the laws of the universe on your narrow behind. I know that. If I'm not allowed to call gay stuff gay, then what am I supposed to call it? What's the okay word for gay? You call it nothing. From now on, you see something gay, I don't care how gay it is. It could be gay than a San Francisco butt plug convention. You look the other way. If it's gay, look the other way. It's Avenue North. On yesterday, we had a historical thing that happened in the city of Birmingham. They call it historical, you know, made history and all that kind of stuff. But I'm here this morning to talk about another history. History. To me, yesterday was one of the most bizarre scenes I ever seen in this city. One of the most comedic scenes I ever witnessed in public. When I witnessed men with size 13, 14 shoes out there kissing each other in the mouth in front of little kids. It was just bizarre. It was like a freak scene going on. That's what I call it. Now, I know about the government and laws being made, but I got a law this morning that came out of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 31. And it says, shall a man leave his mother and father and join to his wife, and they shall become one. And to have your kids out there yesterday, six, seven years old, holding flags, the Bible said, provoke not your children. Tariah, Tariah, Proverbs 22 and verse 6, 7. Train up a child in the right way he should go. And when he get old, he wouldn't depart. I'm so delighted and honored that God would have me bold enough to stand here and talk about this issue. Where all the preachers was yesterday. You know what I mean? The only time going to make them come out of them doors when they stop them tithing off in your church. And you can't have men's day no more. And youth day and women's day. I bet you're going to have a sign in your hand with Brother Ed then. You're going to be standing in front of the White House then. No, y'all got to leave us alone. You know what I mean? But somebody should have stood up yesterday. Ain't it funny everybody got a right but the Christian? So I'm here this morning to talk about my right. Because I got a right too. I can barely say praise the Lord in public now. I might go to jail. I might threaten a lawsuit on the job. You can't have a, tell a person to have a blessed day. Ain't it sad? Y'all, I got a text this morning going to share, which I'm getting on out here. I got a text all the way from Washington, D.C. And I'm going to break the news to y'all. And y'all in the back of me also. In two more years, in 2016, February the 9th, you won't only be able to marry your partner that you play football with no more. You're going to be able to marry your dog. You're going to be able to marry your cat. You're going to be able to marry your snake. You're going to be able to marry your rat. Your roaches. Some of y'all been with the roaches so long, you might well go and marry the roach. <laughs> he been around your house so long, you're going to be able to marry your broom, your mop. Ain't we going crazy in this world, y'all? Ain't we going crazy? I know Alabama made a lot of money. Y'all say, I know somebody else made a lot of money, too. Duracell ain't got no batteries on the shelf this morning. All the batteries gone. <laughs> I tried to find a battery for my radio this morning. Couldn't find them nowhere. I said, what happened? They said, Rev, they bought all the batteries last night. They celebrated some kind of way. Just bought all the batteries. I don't know what they do with the battery no after that. I'm going to preach. I don't go there. You know what I mean? I don't know what they did with all the batteries. Now, Mr. Mayor, don't stop me in the hallway, you and your security team, and tell me I can't come here talking like I talk. Because you got a political job to do. I got a biblical job to do. And I'm going to do mine and you do yours. I'm going to stay in my lane and you stay in yours. I ain't bought by nobody. If I had to die doing what I'm going to do, I'm just fine. Y'all remember Peter and si uh, Paul and Silas were thrown in jail. I'm getting out of here, Mr. Off. Don't you push that button. You remember Paul and Silas were thrown in jail? 
You remember the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace? You remember Daniel was thrown in the last den? They didn't say when he show up or if he show up. They said, we know he going to show up. Why are we scared today, preachers? Your time. Everybody right. coming out of the closet but the saints. When we going to come out of the closet? Oh, yes, I am. Everything I pray gon' be funky. Hey.